Yuan was a very unique school in lots of different ways. The fact that it's such a historic setting makes it very special. Not many schools have a building that's 600 years old and it has been a school for every single day of its 600 year history. Um, so I think that makes it a very special, unique place. And perhaps the children, for them it's just normal, but actually they don't appreciate that not every child gets to go to such a um, special and historic place for their, for their school. But I think as much as the buildings are amazing and very special, actually it's the, you know, the, the, the learning and the work and the children here that that are most important. We try to uh, focus on our kind of core values as a school of being uh, ready, respectful, responsible, resilient and reflective, which obviously link also to the kind of Christian ethos of the school as well. And so that by the time the children get to the end of year six, they're not just ready for secondary school in terms of what they've learned, but also ready in terms of the way they behave, the values that they have, um, and the mindset that they have as well. There's a strong community feel here. Um, it's a small, close-knit village community where lots of people, and lots of parents came here themselves as, child as children and, and then obviously bring their children here in turn. We, we also have RAF Benson on our doorstep, which is an important part of the local community as well. And we're lucky to have lots of families from the RAF base who come here too. So it creates a nice mix of different backgrounds, different experiences. Here at UL, children start in reception class, which is called Chaucer class, because Alice Chaucer, um, the great granddaughter of Geoffrey Chaucer, originally set up the school back in 1437. So we've named the classes after different people linked to the school's history. So Chaucer class, as the founder of the school is our, our foundation class, our first class, and that's for the children in reception and then year one. And they work with Mrs. Smith um, and Mrs. Halliwell um, in that class and when they first come into school. Um, they have an outside area that they can use with lots of interactive, independent activities set up by the, by the teachers. And, uh, and they have a lovely, large, bright, open plan classroom where they can mix um, with between reception and year one, but then at other times also work in their separate year groups as well. We work very closely with the parents and we like to maintain good communication with the parents. So in uh, normal times, parents can come into the classroom at the beginning of the day to, to settle their child in and to say good morning to the adults and the teachers. And there's lots of information and communication backwards and forwards between parents and parents and teachers. In reception class, there's a focus on play-based learning, especially to begin with, but also some key learning taught daily like phonics and maths. And then as they move into year one, the ph daily phonics continues and the rest of the curriculum starts to become a bit more formal. So the school's worked really hard over the last year, developing its curriculum, broadening and, and enriching the curriculum, um, looking beyond just the core subjects of English, maths, phonics, reading, etc., but and looking at subjects such as history, geography, art, PE, music, um, and other creative and performing subjects. So we have a rich, broad curriculum based on um, topics, usually around a history or a geography theme, but also lots of other opportunities. In music, for example, we have specialist music teachers who come in and teach uh, ukulele to all of Key Stage 2. So all the children in Key Stage 2 learn, a, in, uh, learn an instrument and are taught by a specialist. Um, there's also the opportunity for children in Key Stage 2 to do one-to-one uh, -one piano lessons with a specialist teacher as well. We have a specialist PE teacher who comes into school and provides um, uh, indoor and outdoor PE for children across the school and, and also helps organise um, competitions and activities both within school and against other schools as well. We're very keen to make sure that although being a small school brings lots of benefits that we also work hard to make sure it doesn't limit what we can do and what we can offer to the children. We try to um, enrich the children in lots of different ways with trips, visitors, experiences and so forth. Um, we also have um, an after school club that runs three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, which I know lots of our parents find a real help and support with their wraparound childcare. The school's Christian uh, ethos is really important. We're a Church of England school and the uh, Christian values run through everything that the school does and everything that the school is aiming to achieve. 
Um, we have a really close link with our local church, which is actually part of the same complex of medieval buildings that the school is part of. And so we go to church uh, on a weekly basis for a, an assembly that's run by and led by the uh, local vicar. He has a really close relationship with the school and with myself. We work together on lots of different things. Um, in the past, he's come and helped with Drove Tuesday activities, with remembrance um, services and activities. Most recently, he contributed to our Harvest Festival and helped us collect food for the local food bank, which we then delivered. The school is organized into four classes. The youngest class is Chaucer class, which is year one and reception and they have an open plan classroom and an outside area to use, meaning they can either mix and play together or the classroom can be separated for them to be working and learning separately. We have Rowett class, which is year two, and they work as a small class on their own as a single year group. We have Burgish class, which is year three and four. And again, they have a large classroom where they can either be working together or in separate year groups, depending on the needs of the children and what the teachers planned. And there's De La Pole class, year five and six, the oldest children in school, where they obviously start to prepare for um, their move to secondary school. We're very lucky to have um, a large playing field, which the children absolutely love. It's got space for uh, football, a climbing frame and trim trail. It's got an area with trees that the children love to play and explore in, and lots of wide open space for them to sort of run around, have fun, let off steam. Uh, we also have a newly resurfaced playground with lovely markings that the children enjoy playing on. And a lot of the facilities we have here have been made possible by donations from the Parent Teacher Association called FOES, Friends of UAM School, who are really, really active in raising money and a really important part of the school community. One of the really nice things about having a small school is you all get to know each other really well. It's not like there's a group, one group of friends, another group of friends, and they just don't know each other at all. You all know each other as well as anybody else. It feels quite homely. It doesn't feel like one of those schools that you don't really be noticed. It's one where you can like tell the truth about it and not really be embarrassed about how you feel. Um, I think that, yeah, it does give you a lot of freedom, so I'd say that. Yeah, you feel like you're part of history. Uh, yeah, it's like, I'd say that there's always something to look at in like the school, like every little nook and cranny. I'm going to miss the building, like quite literally. I'm going to miss being in that classroom up there. I'm going to, it's, it's going to be, yeah, I'm going to miss the actual school itself.